What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Superhero Central, and She-Hulk is the next Disney Plus show to debut. Well, technically, I am Groot is, but She-Hulk is the next full series coming out. Now, our last video was a She-Hulk origin video, so if you want to know her origin, you can check that out. But we also know that our regular Hulk, Bruce Banner, is going to be appearing in the show and is going to be a main character also. There's also been talks about a World War Hulk movie in which we could see an actual Hulk again, not Professor Hulk, but a full-on Hulk. And with that thought in mind of seeing a different type of Hulk in the MCU, we thought it would be cool to go over the top five strongest Hulks from Marvel Comics. Now, keep in mind this list is a little bit subjective, but for the most part, these are the strongest Hulks. To start off our list, we have Space Punisher Hulk taking our number five spot who has four arms and is incredibly huge and his strength is compared to Galactus's strength and when your strength is compared to Galactus you are someone not to be messed with but apparently the Fantastic Four I guess did not get the memo as they got destroyed and disrespected by Space Hulk as you can clearly tell in their fight with each other. In fact multiple superpowered beings tried to take him out but none of them could even come close. Also the Watchers themselves tried to get involved, but they also got destroyed by the Space Punisher Hulk. So yeah, this Hulk is truly out of this world. Coming in at number four, we have Immortal Hulk. This Hulk might only be able to come out and play at night, but make no mistake, he can clap almost anyone's cheeks. No, like seriously, he can smack his hands together to shoot out a massive gamma wave that can obliterate nearly anything and everything in his path. The Immortal Hulk continues to get stronger as he absorbs the gamma radiation from his adversaries and makes it his own power, like a stacking buff that he gets each time he fights someone with gamma radiation. You would think that the Hulk naturally is immortal, but that's not the normal case since we have seen the Hulk die in different versions of himself time and time again, which actually leads to the birth of the Immortal Hulk, and this Immortal Hulk seriously won't go down. At one point his limbs are separated from another and he is still alive and actually curious of how powerful he truly is. He regents himself to his full body being restored and kills the doctor who was working on him. He even killed the Breaker of Worlds, who was the one below all, so the devil himself could not take down this immortal being. So watch out for the immortal Hulk and don't let him catch you in the middle of the night. Coming in at number three, we have World Breaker Hulk, one of my personal favorites. Again, you have those obvious statements of it literally being in the name of how overpowered this version of the Hulk is. Cough, cough, he breaks worlds. This Hulk was considered to be too dangerous by the Illuminati, so they tricked him into being sent away from Earth, and the Hulk would end up landing on Sakaar. This is where he would make his new family after fighting as a gladiator and taking over the throne from the Red King. He marries Kyera, who ends up carrying his child but dies before delivering along with many others from the ship's explosion of the warp core, the same ship that brought him there so his wife and his unborn child die. Hulk, being furious, as anyone would, manages his way back to Earth to avenge his family and the death of all of his people. He believed it was the Illuminati that was responsible for the loss of his loved ones, so that's who he goes after. Long story short, the Hulk destroys so many superheroes, not just the Illuminati, but the X-Men as well, and many others. After the Hulk defeated many of these superhero groups, the Sentry himself even battles the Hulk, but the Hulk ends up smashing the ground with his feet, and in doing so, he levels a part of the Earth. In fact, if he would have taken more steps, he would have destroyed the entire planet with just his feet. So, world-shattering feet, that's pretty OP. Hence, World Breaker Hulk. And coming in at number two, we have Uni-Hulk, or... Blue Hulk. Given one of the names of this Hulk, that is Unipower, it's no wonder why he makes it on our list since this basically makes him a cosmic being. The Hulk stumbles upon the Unipower while trying to escape civilization in the mountains, and the Unipower requests Bruce Banner's help. The Unipower combines with Bruce and gives him powers. They get separated for a time, but then reunite as the Hulk is fighting some advanced robots that are actually giving him a run for his money. With the Hulk being made into Captain Universe by the Unipower, it leaves him with all of that raw strength that he normally has, but adds on the brains plus cosmic energy, making him incredibly powerful. Some specifics as far as what the Unipower can do are to manipulate reality, time, energy, and many more cool abilities like flight. So imagine the Hulk having any number of those when he's already the green beast that we all know and love. Those powers all combined make Uni Hulk able to wreck the entire universe pretty much. It's essentially the Hulk as a cosmic entity. But he doesn't take the number one spot. Taking the number one spot, we have Titan Hulk, or rather, the Hulk's Hulk. 
Now, this is a completely brand new Hulk introduced in Marvel Comics this year in 2022. The Titan Hulk is by far one of the craziest Hulks ever to be released. It is a story with a bunch of alternate Hulks fighting each other, and Bruce's consciousness completely separates from the Hulks located in the so-called engine room. An appearance from what it would seem like, but not confirmed, by Betty Ross popping up in the engine room would eventually lead to Titan Hulk's creation. This would be the moment where we get to see the Hulk's Hulk smash. This Hulk is not Bruce Banner turning into the Hulk, it is the Hulk turning into another Hulk. Just like Bruce Banner has a Hulk, the Hulk has a Hulk, another level above. So come on, if this version isn't insanely overpowered, being the Hulk's Hulk, that wouldn't even make sense. So this is by far the strongest Hulk that we've ever seen. He is insanely powerful and can take on practically anyone in the galaxy. And to point out the obvious, Titan Hulk, instead of green, is black and gray with red eyes and has gamma lightning energy spewing from his mouth and all around his body. Plus, he has spikes, and I assume they hurt too. Now, we haven't seen a ton of what Titan Hulk can do because he's still so new, but rest assured, the Hulk's Hulk can likely smash anything and anyone. Now, honorable mention. He didn't make our list, but an honorable mention is Maestro Hulk, who is a futuristic version of the Hulk that absorbed all the radiation energy from nuclear wars on Earth. He ends up being the sole super survivor in that reality since he's able to kill all of the other supers with his power. Plus, he has the intellect of Bruce Banner still with him, but uses it in a completely diabolical way. Eventually, the only way that would seem to take Maestro down is him being forced to time travel to where the initial gamma radiation blast happened that turned Bruce Banner into the Hulk. This blast seemingly kills him, but he does eventually come back. So he's also crazy strong, which is why he gets an honorable mention. Now, there are a ton of different versions of the Hulk out there, and even the least greatest of them all is still one who is incredibly strong and one to be feared. And as a golden rule, we know that the Hulk's strength can basically be limitless, as most versions of the Hulk grow stronger as the more rage they have. But when you combine that strength with some other abilities, it definitely takes the Hulk to an Omega level of being OP. Like I said, this isn't the easiest list to form and rank in order since there are so many overpowered versions of the Hulk out there, but let me know what your favorite version of the Hulk is down below. And if you had to rank them in top 5, let me know what you would rank them if it's different than mine. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you enjoyed it for more superhero content. And as always, thanks for stopping by Superhero Central.